this video, we are going to show you how to configure an M7055D Modbus RTU-based digital I.O. module with Decon Utility. Once the module has been configured, we can acquire data through the inputs and then trigger outputs as desired. The M7000 series modules communicate via Modbus RTU protocol and are available in a wide variety of analog and digital configurations. For a complete list of our M7000 series modules, please visit this URL. The TM7561 RS485 to USB converter will be connected to the M7055D digital I.O. module using green and yellow insulated copper wires. We will connect the green wire to data plus and the yellow wire to data minus. Connect power to the plus VS and ground terminals to power the module. The red and black wires of the input sensor are used for powering it. The white wire of the sensor is connected to the DI.com channel because we are going to use NPN configuration. The yellow wire of the sensor is for the PMP configuration, so we won't use it at this time. We will also connect the DI4 channel to VS. We need to power the outputs, so we will connect the DO.ground and EXT.power to the power source. We are using a red wire to connect the red lights to DO4 and a white wire to connect the green lights to DO5. The module comes with a removable terminal block, which allows for easy wiring. Once everything is connected, we can configure it using Decon Utility. Click on COM port and assign the communication information. The USB converter is connected to this COM port. On your system, it may be connected to a different COM port. Check all the boxes, then click OK. Click on Search and select Start Searching. Once the module is found, double click on it for testing and configuration. Here we can see eight tabs corresponding to the digital inputs and another eight tabs for the digital outputs. Notice that the tab corresponding to DI4 becomes green if the sensor detects an object. As long as we have something connected to the input, then it will be on. The input sensor is triggered when it senses the presence of an object. We need to put in the proper values for address, baud rate, and parity option. These should be based on your application requirements. Now click setting to save the settings. Power your module off and on to save the settings. To learn more about how to set up free easy data logger software, please view our next video.